What's popping collective? This is your girl, the spiritual assassin. Welcome to my channel, the Cognitive Queen. Guys, we just going through these energies this morning, going through the zodiacs and making sure that you guys get the necessary energies you need for the next five days. Please remember to, to take what take what resonates, disregard the rest. I hope you guys are uh, having a great morning or will be having a great day today as you transmute to work. Okay, guys, communicate, commute to work is what I meant to say. <laughs> transmute. <laughs> crazy as you commute to work okay so somebody may be transmuting negative energy into positive energy is what i'm picking up so you don't know how to transmute any negative energies into positive energy so today guys the zodiac that we're picking up on um right now is um pisces energy you could have dealt with a taurus energy also there's a um libra and gemini energy that's here is what I'm picking up. I'm picking up on Virgo too. I don't know why I want to say that, but Virgo, Libra, Virgo, Libra, Pisces, Taurus energy that's here. But we are doing the reading for Piscean energy, okay? So, yeah. Those are the energies that you may be around. Okay. What's this? What are they trying to tell me? Somebody could be going to be in mental conflict right now with the two of swords. Somebody who is non-committal. Somebody refused to see the bigger picture here. They was in a relationship with this person. And somebody is ready to go. So we're just going to clarify these cards, how they came out, period, point blank. So somebody put you in a two of swords energy. So we're going to clarify. We got the two of swords here. We got non-committal energy here. And we got someone refused to see the bigger picture here. And we have someone was in the ten of cups here. And we have, you chose to go a, a new direction. So we're going to clarify these cards and see what's popping. Okay. Can you clarify the two of swords for me, please? Somebody who's being very was being indecisive could have been secretive here. There's somebody spying on you with the page of swords. Somebody could have been indecisive. Well, had two. Well, had put had you in a third party energy, and this person and you possibly didn't know this. You was blinded to the fact that there was other people here in your energy. This was a secret. This person who had you in the two of swords energy is spying on you. Someone who was not a gift, someone who is um, self-serving or unfulfilling. This person is um, dissatisfied. Someone is very, they are dis, a, a, a dishonest ass person. We're going to clarify some more. Can you clarify this page of swords? Yeah, this person kept a lot of secrets and, and illusions behind your back. So there were some secrets that came out. This person is very fucking moody and feel overwhelmed with emotions right now. This is a sensitive ass individual right here. Someone could have kept you in the two of swords energy here. You had a, you was make, you had to make a difficult choice or you, there was a difficult choice and you chose an individual that kept a lot of secrets. You chose somebody who's very moody and melodramatic. And if this is not you, this is whoever else that's in your energy. This person chose somebody else over you, but they still spying on you. And this is a secret that you don't even know that this person is watching you. Can you clarify this moon card? 404 on the screen when I said that. Somebody could be a master healer here. I got the nine of cups here. Somebody see you as a gift. Who is this nine of cups? Somebody seeing someone as a gift here. Oh, here we go. We got the truth out. So we see somebody, somebody seeing somebody as this gift here. So someone that this person who was unencumbered, I'm not going to even say unencumbered. This person is a karmic energy who needs help financially to bring them stability. And your person thought this person was a gift, but your person did not know that this person kept a bunch of illusions, kept a bunch of secrets here. This person is spying on you, spying on your person, and he had you in a in a um, 
third party energy. You didn't know that he had someone else on the side is what I'm picking up. Nope. He got with, with an Aquarian energy in the reverse, a fallen star here. Someone who was not healing, somebody who's very cold. He thought this person was very mothering and nurturing before, but this person has inner conflict. They could have mental issues here. They're fighting with themselves. That's what I'm picking up. They are the fucking devil. I told you. This high priestess is the fucking devil. Yeah. Someone that they that marriage is falling now. So somebody try to act like they were some uh some type of high art. Anarchy person only to um, for your person to realize that they was covering um, who they really was because they were, really was a devil. They was not this high priestess at all. Confirmation. Yeah. So the truth has been found out that this motherfucker, this marriage is over with because somebody found out that this motherfucker ain't who they say they was. Yeah. Somebody has gained insight about this situation with the title card in reverse. Someone has been watching you, like I said, watching your money, watching what you've been doing. This person that's this masculine that could not stand up to this individual, to this demonic ass energy, is watching you in secretly, in secrecy. He acts like a, a fucking chap here. Yeah, he's not. He did not realize that he gave a goddamn a karmic energy a leg up, only for them to betray them at the end of the day. Yeah, he he started a new beginning with someone. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he started. Now he now this person does not want to let them let let him go. Is what I'm picking up. Yeah. I'm also picking up that you started a new leap of faith, a new path, a new a project here. And you're moving forward with your life. And this masculine energy is not trying to let you go. Yeah, because this person has realized that this other energy he was dealing with kept him in a bunch of illusions, lies, and deception. Yeah, this person kept him in a bunch of delays and setbacks. They never could get anything done. They had, they lacked foresight here. Your person lacked foresight, could not see the forest before the trees is what I'm picking up. Yeah. And they went towards this Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, they went towards somebody that was cutting them down. They didn't give two shits about them. They they couldn't see the tree, they couldn't see the tree before the forest. <laughs> yeah. They married an Empress energy in the reverse. Someone who wore a fucking mask. Libra energy, Virgo energy is what I'm picking up. I'm picking up Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy, Aries, Leo, Sag energy, Libra, Virgo energy, Gemini energy, Pisces energy, Cancer energy. Somebody could be a Cancer or somebody may have Cancer. And Capricorn energy is who you, who you could be dealing with. Yeah, somebody took a fucking faulty risk and now is losing on their investments. Their investment is non voided. Mm -hmm. Someone's supposed to have swum to calmer waters, but they didn't. Hmm. This King of Pentacles. Somebody was being very nasty towards you. So this King of Pentacles was someone who was um, very prominent. Could be a financial advisor. Someone who um, is very... Um, um, bountiful when it comes to finances, but this person was chose to come to swim to calmer waters towards you, but he chose to fight against you and to go against you. He talked shit about you. He throwed you under the bus. He thought he was unimpressed with you. Yeah. And he did this shit with passion with the King of Wands energy. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he took a leap of faith with this King of Wands, with this Knight of Wands energy. Somebody who was only in for a passionate time and not, that's it. There's no love here. So he got with this empress energy because of sex. The, the, to soil his wild oats is what I'm picking up. So he's he's moved by fucking put pretty much. He think with his with his other head. He don't think with his top head. He think with his other head, which is gonna leave him to have STDs and STIs and sexually transmitted diseases and everything else that come under the belt because motherfuckers don't take that life um for um that they don't they don't um what I wanna say. They don't love themselves, so they just give themselves to any and everybody out here. They're nasty as fuck. Ugh. Trash energy is what I'm picking up. Now this person feels like that they, they, you left them behind or they're feeling wounded and bruised because of how this energy have treated them. I feel like this Empress energy had a third a third party energy. And they was being non-committal here. Yeah. They was being non-committal here. And now your person feel like the wounded warrior here. They feeling bruised after they have 
put their mouth on you, talk shit about you, throw you under the bus. Now they're going through the same situation. Come up, bitch. Yeah, somebody was using manipulation on this Knight of Wands energy, on this King of Pentacles energy. So somebody was working, was working a hard magic trickery, spell work, whatever the case may be. Somebody improperly used their powers. Yeah, somebody tried to spiritually block you, but your ancestors blocked they motherfucking ass. So everything that's been sent your way has been turned back to fucking sender. Yes, there's going to be quick communication coming in to you guys soon. Yes, somebody with a lackluster, lackluster mindset wants to communicate with you about something here, guys. For what? Yeah, that's going to, what? I can't make this up. They're coming in fast. I got two communication cards in here. Somebody could be driving towards you to give you some type of message here about somebody with a lack uh, mindset here. But you blocked whoever this is that tried to send you any kind of spell work is what I'm picking up. Yeah. Somebody wants to tell you about how someone was being juggled here. Hmm. Maybe they want to tell you about how they juggled you. And want to bring you clarity, understanding, and understanding to the situation because they want to offer a cup of love towards you. They want to offer, they want to offer you a cup of love, but they know they have to come up clean and they want to tell you about this two this, this two of pentacles energy here that they juggled you with, that they try to keep you blinded to. Yeah, they did. Yeah. They're going to, they're going to try, they're going to be driving to your house to, to, to communicate with you. They're going to tell you about this third party energy. And you're thinking about not taking this offer back as well, because this person had put you in the third party energy. You feel like they're just not going to change is what I'm picking up. That's somebody's situation, not everybody's situation. I think I clarified all of these energies. But I'm going to just go ahead and just get a couple more messages. I'm going to just go through these real quick. So that's every, so somebody's situation, not everybody's situation. So let's go. Can you clarify the seven of cups for me in the reverse for me, please? Yeah, this is with somebody who was in a fake marriage here. You gave your love to this person, but you gave it to what? An Aquarian energy. You thought this person was a star. You gave your love to this person only to realize that this person was not who they say he was. You found out this person was non-committal. Let's move to the next energy. I'm going to hold up. This person broke your heart. Yeah, you moving on and traveling uh, and, um, and traveling past this energy now. You looking out um, at the window and you just saying, I'm done with this situation. I'm moving on. I don't got time to deal with this mess anymore. You're moving on with your life because someone tried to keep you bounded and stuck, but you see things for what they are now. You see past illusions. This person can't, cannot can't keep you stuck anymore. Yeah, this person was not the truth, and you see that person for who they are now. Yep. Yeah, this person is still trying to nag you and uh, stay in your, in your ear to try to keep you stuck to them, but you don't want to hear anything they got to say. You're moving on and moving forward with your life. Yeah, now that you have cut this person off, now they're going through despair. Yeah. But they chose you going into a new cycle here, though, collective. You wait on waiting on your ships to come in, though, collective. And this person was dealing with the devil. That's why you walked away from this situation because it was fucking messy. Damn, my cards dropped. Yeah, somebody was dealing with a queen of cups here. Somebody who was manipulating the energy. Hold on, guys. I gotta get my cards up. Damn. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. All right. So let's get to the next energy. Who is this hangman in the reverse who refused to see the uh, who refused to see um, things from another point of view? This empress energy here. So someone refused to see a um a, a person for who they were and um. We're going to see what happened. This could be a um, Virgo energy here who refused to see things for what they are. And guess what they did? Use magic, <laughs> manipulation to keep your person stuck to you. To keep, I mean, keep their person, your person stuck to them because they didn't want to, they didn't want to see another way out of this situation. So they did whatever they could to uh, keep this person stuck is what I'm picking up. Knowing that this man wanted to be with you, but they still use other shit, act stupid like they don't know what's going on um, and refuse to move on because they was wanting to gain something out of this person. And they use whatever that they could, whatever my fuckery trickery that they needed to, to keep your person stuck. Yeah, she did this shit with this wand right here, magic. I can't make this shit up. Can you clarify the magician card? 
Yeah, your person took a new leap of faith with this person, a new leap of, um, a new um, journey with this person, only to find itself, only to find that they are still fighting and in uh, competition with one another here. This person could, could have looked at you as competition, but you don't compete where you don't compare, honey, period, point blank. Yeah, you ended the situation. Fuck that. Yeah, end of the end of story. We don't even have to clarify that anymore. You ended that situation. You're done with that. You stick a fork in them, you're done. Yeah, because you find out somebody was using magic on you. This person could have used sex magic on you. Could have got pregnant by this person. Or this baby might not even be yours. Let me clarify one more card. This um three of cups. So there could have been three other three up to three witches here that was trying to stop your motherfucking money from growing. You ended that situation with the death card. But you did take a leap of faith though. What I'm looking at the card saying you did. You took a leap of faith towards this individual. You could have you could have been involved. You could have been dealing with three other females here that was working on your money. You had to end the situation with all these females. You found out that you you started a new path with all three of these females. And they all was manipulating you. <laughs> and they all was trying to get pregnant by you, is what I'm picking up. Because you refuse to see things from a different point of view. Damn, Mara. Let's get to the next energies. Clarify this King of Cups for me, please. And that's the motherfucking truth. That somebody, they, they wanted me to clarify this. <laughs> that somebody <laughs> with the um, hangman in reverse, that this is the motherfucking truth, what I just said. And that these hoes was using magic on every damn moon cycle. Bam. The cards don't lie. And this was a Sagittarian energy as well that did that shit. Don't use that, that, that magic. Look how she's throwing up that wand in the air. Ooh, my shoulder. <laughs> Somebody um maybe going to have some type of shoulder pain is what I'm picking up. Your back may hurt around this area. Okay, can you clarify the King of Cups? This person who did this magic right here <laughs> but was very aloof and they did, they used their magic in the wrong way. This is a very immature ass person, a very toxic person, somebody who's being very manipulative, but they most definitely, they got, they do have abilities, but they use them in the wrong way. And they was trying to do this by uh, playing on your person. They acting like they don't know what the fuck going on when they really do know what's going on. They playing stupid or they was trying to play stupid. King of Cups, please. Yeah. This Emperor Energy. Um, this, uh, got into uh, started a family with a Pisces Scorpio Cancer, Pisces Scorpio Cancer energy. He thought he was gonna be building with this person with the Knight of Wands. This could also be a Sagittarian energy he went towards. He thought that there was he could have he could have lost finances here, money here, dealing with this individual. He he gonna be in lack of right now. Hmm. He chose to hold on, but he chose to deal with somebody that was just only holding on to him for financial gain. There's no love out here, period. Can you clarify the nine of pentacles? Yeah. Yeah, someone thought somebody was a gift here. So they kept giving to this person. I feel like this, this emperor never got, he didn't get back to, he never got back to what he gave in. He kept spending money, spending money, spending money. Excuse me, confirmation. I feel like somebody got a drug problem here. Somebody was supplying somebody's drug problem here as well. Someone he was in a family um, dynamic with. They can have up to two kids here. But there's going to be some fast communication coming in about someone that he built a business with, a family organization with. Yeah, he's walking away from this family here with the Eight of Cups. He's walking away from a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy. Seem like he wants to come towards you. Killing the swords, but you have healed. You will be justified. You will be you will be um vindicated on anything that someone tried to do to you. Because yeah, you gain a, a, a higher perspective here. You could be someone who is of no nonsense. And you could have walked away from this individual as well. But I feel like the person that he was dealing with, she was nasty towards him, cut him below the belt, she was non-healing. And their situation would not be justified out. 
He didn't see the he didn't see this person from a different perspective, and and this person played him like the fool he is. Period. Point blank. They're they have they are going through a bunch of confusion and fighting fighting amongst one another. So there's a bunch of karma going on right now. That's somebody's situation, not everybody's situation. Can we get the next card? Can you clarify the two of wands for me, please? Let's go and clear this energy up. Yeah, the ten of cups came back out again. Somebody wants to start a, a, a relationship with you, but I feel like that you walked away from this energy, to a wands energy. You ready to go, ready to move forward, and ready to get on with your life. You're moving forward, period, point blank, and now somebody wants to come in and have a family with you now, possibly want to have two kids with you. Yeah. But somebody was being deceptive in the past, was trying to be sneaky and get away with shit. Can you clarify the seven of swords? Now this person wants to come in and tell you how wounded they are and what they had to go through and um, what what took place. They want to tell and bear, bear some truth. But I see that you are going towards your new path. You're not worried about this. Somebody wants to come in and have a family with you. But somebody wants to reconnect with you, want to reconcile with you and tell you about these secrets here is what I'm picking up. Because evidence has been found out about a situation here. You got strength, though, collective. I'm just getting a couple more cards, and we're going to end this. Yeah. Somebody was in a third-party energy here. Somebody was found out about this um, toxic-ass relationship that they was in, and they had to walk away from this person. Yeah, tower moment. They walked, yeah, this situation that they was in because of these secrets was being found out. They had a wounded warrior. They want to come in with quick communication to tell you about this Ten of Cups energy here. But you move forward past this situation. The tower moment is here. He walked away from this individual, from this family, this um, this family, the toxic ass um business that they had going on. He was celebrating with this person. He had to go in hermit mode to learn more about the situation. He's going to be rushing, rushing and running away from this individual that kept a lot of options. Yeah, he's gaining strength. And momentum and knowing exactly that this person was trying to outwit him and outsmart him. Now he wants to come back around and offer you another cup of love. Yep. But you know that he was breadcrumbing you. You don't want that shit or vice versa. Yeah. You this queen of pentacles right here. You're going to be receiving. Um, um, you're going to be working hard towards your goals here. You're going to be successful with your goals here. Yeah. You planting seeds here for a new beginning here. You traveled to common waters here. Yeah, you found out about these secrets. Yeah, because you a high priestess. And you traveled past this motherfucker from what? This king of pentacles. <laughs> now he's now he's having regret feelings, dealing with a knight of wands energy. That way. Somebody energy. <laughs> these are the next energies for the next five days. Energies for the next five days, guys. Plus five and collective. You know, we're gonna get the tea. Either way it go, I'm going to just pull a couple of cards from my deck and we're going to end it on that note. I hope you guys, well, I hope you guys will have a great day, a, pro, a prosperous day, a abundant day, a joyful day, a harmonized day, a well-balanced day as we continue to proceed and give them what they need. So we're just going to get a couple messages and then we're going to end the live reading, live reading. Maybe I need to do a live today. Maybe I will. I'll see what the ancestors say. I said live reading for a reason. You are a part of the 144,000 who I'm talking to. So let's get a couple cards so we can end this up. You are going to receive good karma. Yes, but they did spell work on you. So they just amplified your good karma, and you are part of the 144,000. And you are loved by the universe collective, and you got the juice collective. Oh, yeah. The sun illuminates the truth. You have illuminated all the bullshit collective. You know what's going on now, collective. I'm taking them cards. For some reason, it's telling me to take them. Yeah. It's about time I'm done fucking with you and that bullshit. You cut these motherfuckers off like it ain't shit. And you are not the fucking average Joe. Something could be happening on a Friday. 
And guess what? You got the keys to the city. The keys to the city. A A A A. Yeah, you tap you tapped into the Akashic Records, so you could be a spiritual leader here, a tarot reader here, a medium um, or a psychic here is what I'm picking up. But you are the shit. Yes. You think you think you are better than us. That's what the karmic is saying. But you are better than them because you vibe higher. They have to resort to spell, spell work to bring you down because they know that them by themselves, they can't do it. Not even, but they spell work can't do it either. The fuck? We return that shit back to sender so fucking fast. Now it's hitting them and hitting them in their ass. Something could happen seven hours ago. But remember, you will be abundant and somebody was being gay for pay. Let me get a couple more. Sources here guiding you to your abundance and the truth illuminates the uh, lies. Period, point blank. And currently in this moment, you curse the karmics. You bring an ending to all of these situations that you was dealing with from the past. Divine timing is here. Tick tock, tick tock, yo time is up. Tick tock, tick tock, yo time is up. Yo time is up. Yo time is up. Yo time is up. Somebody could do a spell work on your TikTok as well as what I pick, I'm picking up. And this masculine is feeling like he was an idiot for how he treated you or vice versa. Somebody likes to smoke weed and trees here. And you have balance here, collective. And somebody's on psychedelic and mushrooms here, collective. And I have no self-love. So someone who's on psychedelic drugs and mushrooms, they have no self-love. And you are appointed by the creator. Something could have happened on a Wednesday. Or will be happening on a Wednesday. Something could be happening on a Tuesday. And you are divinely guided. And you have a good feeling about something. And you see um, the big picture now, collective. Yes. And I'm sorry I slept with the karmic again. Yeah. 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 Somebody slept with a Capricorn Virgo Taurus energy here. Yeah. But your third eye is activated. You pray without ceasing. Yeah. Archangel Michael is here protecting you. Yes. You use your intuition, collective. Yeah, because you got beauty and brains collective. Yes, something could happen five hours ago. They may need to be a change to something here. You, there's an Ophucus, Ophucus energy here as well. The Ascendant Masters are guiding you, uh, guiding me. And you have you are a self-starter who I'm talking to. Yes, you are. Something could happen two hours ago. You are the war babies, or you could be coming into union with someone. But you are part of the spiritual assassin tribe. And don't be a fool. Um, when somebody tries to come back towards you with some bullshit ass apology, you are part of the 144,000. You could be a Gemini, the Aquarius I'm talking to, but there's a man for that's coming back into your energy, this masculine energy. You need to have courage and do not accept this offer that he's trying to give you because it's still bullshit. Somebody's still dealing with a prostitute here, but he could be selling his ass. This feminine energy. <laughs> yeah, and you need to keep pushing and don't look back. Yeah, Maya, Oya, and Oshan is here guiding me with these messages. And there's someone that's still in love with you. I just want to pull a couple more from this deck, and then we're going to end it. Yeah. The moon reveals secrets here. So the the um under this moon, we under now, we're revealing all the secrets <laughs> that people have been trying to hide and trying to keep you stuck and blinded from you not seeing. That's what I'm picking up. You have been initiated through coronation. Come on now. You got them. You highly spiritually ranked out here, baby. And the karmics always wear a mask. And the, the karmic is jealous of you. That's why she slept with this masculine. This motherfucker like to be on cocaine and pills. You need to use discernment when this energy come around you. And I wish and this masculine masculine is wishing that they could take back the hands of time. You're gonna be rich one day, collective. And I am not the average Joe. You are not the average Joe. You are a star. You could be a public speaker who I'm talking to. Yes. Somebody had to learn their, less, their lessons the hard way collective. Something could happen one month ago or would be happening in one month with a, a copycat energy here. Something happened six hours ago or would be happening in six hours. Somebody could be catching the STD in six hours from a crazy bitch. Yeah. And she slept with your masculine. So he possibly already got this disease. Yeah. And somebody, a, a karmic took somebody's money here. Yeah, but remember to stay dedicated. You got Cherokee um, bloodline here. You are blessed. Something could have happened on a Sunday. You will be financially stable. You, you have mixed cultures. And someone's saying that they should have listened to their intuition. You are strong. And you are a major flex. And someone wants your forgiveness. 
but someone used black magic on you. Someone wants your forgiveness who did some type of black magic on you this proud. Something could have happened with this relationship three hours ago. Something could have happened nine hours ago. Twelve breaking down to three. Somebody was most definitely, something most definitely happened to a relationship. Yep. But you are the start of collective. And you are the last dragon. You are the ones that's going to save your generation from generational poverty is what I'm picking up. So it's on you to save your people, your generation, your ancestral lineage. And I feel like that you're doing that because <clears throat> you are mystic. <clears throat> and somebody needs to work on their self-love. You're going to be traveling soon. And it's time to see the world, baby. <laughs> yes, but somebody who's narcissistic here. A king's phallic that's very narcissistic. They sacrificed you. And you have South African ancestors here. And I run away from how I truly feel. Will you please forgive me? So this masculine could have sacrificed you, chose somebody else over you. Now they want to come back and show you some type of um, love, forgiveness, or whatever the case this shit might be. But they had secrets here. And something could have been exposed for four hours ago at four o'clock in the morning. And you lose, we win, period, point blank. Something could be happening on a Monday today. And I tried to discredit you. Somebody tried to discredit you. And you have Indian ancestral lineage here. So, guys, those are the messages I have on the screen. 3113 on the screen when I said that. So, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. I love you, collective. Mwah. Have a good day. Bye.